Here we go on my journey again, and I'm listening to somebody else's podcast, and they're talking about how their father abandoned me, how their father abandoned them. And then as I became a Stoic philosopher and a student of the Stoic philosophical mindset, as I became a student and a scholar of parenting, child development, child psychology, marriage and family, family and consumer sciences, I began to learn that it is primarily about skills. It's about a lot, so I'm not gonna keep you long. I'm just gonna tell you this. I refuse to adopt the language of my unqualified yet loving, unskilled yet caring mother who primarily maintain my physical body. I love my mother dearly. My mother and my father got together and their trauma bonding created me. My mother, I learned, was going through a lot of trouble, trauma and pain and didn't have skills to teach me and love me. For that, I give her grace. My father knew that my mother was insufferable and he was also unqualified and uncertified to be a husband and father. So instead of visiting that trauma upon me by fighting over me, my father walked away. See, words matter. I will not say that my father abandoned me because his intentions was not to abandon because he didn't love me. His intentions was to avoid the trauma that comes from fighting for access to be active. And so when access is denied, it's important that you walk away to preserve yourself. I will always honor my mother for never speaking ill of my father. I will always honor my father for walking away because them fighting over me could have given me a different level of trauma that could have made me close-minded. My mother speaking ill of my father could have made me feel indifferent and disrespectful towards learning from men. My mother in her unqualified self still had the presence of mind never to push race and politics in my face, thus further giving me the ability as a little learning human being who will become an adult to keep an open mind. In closing, be careful of the words that you adopt from people who raised you that could close your mind to learning and evolving as a human being. If you're a lifelong learner, I will never say that my father abandoned me. I will say that he walked away and I'm glad he did because there's nothing absolutely nothing more troubling and more traumatic than two unqualified and insecure people trying to raise you who can't figure themselves out. If you think one person is bad, try having two. People dig on single parent families thinking that they are problematic and the lack of skills can make that situation problematic but try having two where both your mama and your daddy don't know what they're doing oh that can't be good this instructor mike and you've been trained what are your thoughts